One of the benefits of having your Seamoth be bright pink is that it stands out very easily for the Reapers to find you in the middle of the night and then eat your brains out through your butt! Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now in this episode, we will be venturing off to the place that we said we would never return because death lurks around every corner. In all honesty, we're going to go back to the Aurora, because now that I have the welder tool, I can fix the Aurora! Or at least I can stop the radiation from leaking, but also there is an upgrade in that generator room that I need to get to, and it is oddly quiet in here. And I think I know why, because when I loaded up my game, I went over to check on my fishies in my fishy tank, and... You may notice there's something missing in here that was a very prominent feature the last time we were here. Yep, that's right, the egg that I put in here is gone, which I can only assume means that it hatched and escaped and is currently stalking the hallways waiting for me to drop my guard so that it can kill and then eat me. So we all have that to look forward to, but we also have to look forward to the Wall of Heroes here. So I got three new names from the comments section, thank you all for helping out. The first one is John Smith, no relation to Steven Smith, who said, Why didn't anyone tell Markiplier that the heated blade can cook the fish? I don't know, you're actually the first person that ever said that to me, so you are super cool. I think I can actually spell your full name in here, and you deserve your own locker. I don't know what I'm gonna shove inside your locker, but it's probably gonna be useful. The next one goes to Ammer. Hossum, I'm probably mispronouncing that name, but thank you so much because you said that I need the terraform to get the possible cave opening, and I'm assuming that's the one down deep below the depths, so maybe in the next episode I'm gonna make that and then we're gonna go down into the depths of hell. And the last one goes to Br Brendan K. Game Gum. Br Brendan K. Gum. I'm just gonna gam. Brandon K. Gam who said, Karen is your only friend on this planet. Make a rusty bucket for her to live in. And that one just made me laugh. So thank you everybody so much for commenting. I really do appreciate you guys following along the series. But now we must venture off into the abyss. In the middle of night apparently. Oh good, it's coming in today. And there is the upgrade in the Aurora is actually an upgrade to the Cyclops, which is going to be very important because I believe, even though my Seamoth has about the maximum upgrade for its depth capacity. The Cyclops, I think, I'm not 100% sure on this one, but I'm pretty sure that the Cyclops can go even deeper than the Seamoth, which would mean that we would have even more to explore, even though it seemed like we reached maximum capacity by going to the end of the game. There are actually deeper points in the game with which to see. So we're gonna find our way there eventually and hopefully not die. Because dying is something that I've been very, very good at over the past few episodes that I've been playing this. I've died a lot, admittedly. If I was in a real scenario where I was trying to survive on a horrible, I'm going the wrong way, on a horrible, 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 desolate, where, oh, okay, I was about to say, oh God, I'm in Reaper territory. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I finally found out the name of the thing. It's called the Reaper Leviathan, which is a lovely name. They, they came up with two different names to name something horrible and scary and big in the ocean, and then they decided that they couldn't decide between the two of them, so they named it both. The Reaper Leviathan. So hopefully we can skirt around this. I can't see the- Where the heck am I? They did another update, and whenever they do an update, they change things, and I have- I could have sworn I was going in the right direction, and the- uh, with- WHAT THE HELL?! WHERE DID IT GO AGAIN?! I DID NOT! NO! I WAS MADE A LEFT! Ugh, I don't like this. I'm right in Reaper territory, aren't I? At least I can see the ocean floor again, so that's awfully nice. Okay, everything's fine. I'll see you on the inside of the Aurora. All right! Hey, how's it going, Sand Shark? What a doofy do. Look at you! And listen to the lovely rumble! Okay. Did this get smaller? I don't get asked that question a lot. Shut up. Just gonna park my sea moth in this precarious burning hole in the ship and then fly my way. I'm going the wrong way. And fly my way up here. Excuse me. Okay. So in here, there is the generator room. So this. Oh no, wait. This is not it. This is the generator room. So now that I'm in the generator room, I can take my repair tool. 
which has a good amount of energy to it, and I can actually charge this up because one of the reasons why I still have these particular fins is because this takes energy, so when I swim with it, it actually rejuvenates! And good thing I got those first aid kits. Why is this not rejuvenating? Why is it not rejuvenating? Oh, there it goes. It rejuvenates! So, I gotta find all of the problems with these, and I gotta fix them up. And with this, I don't need the radiation suit anymore, which means that I can get the moisture retaining. Oh god, 10 radiation leaks. Karen, could you put them on like a mini map or something? Pop them up on my hood? Thank you, I know, Karen. I'm gonna get you a rusty bucket to live in because apparently that's the best for my computer wives. Wives. I only have one! Karen, what are you saying? What are you talking about? You're the only love for me, baby! Oh. Is it just me or is she getting sassier? Sounds like she didn't like the idea of me having other computer wives. Or computer boyfriends, apparently, in the Cyclops. Oh well. I'll be back once I get all these welded up. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think I got all of the breaches that are underwater which means that the rest of the breaches either have to be above on the upper areas. I'm just scanning really closely. Aha! I spotted you! You thought you could get away from me, but I'm going to fix all your problems with fire. The same way I fix all of my emotional problems. Three left! Karen! Come on! Okay, I'm gonna look above for him. Hopefully, we'll get somewhere. There's one! I knew it. It had to be true. There's one more. There's just one more! So if that one son of a bitch- Oh, hey! It's the son of a bitch. I swear these are appearing randomly. And three, two, one, I'm amazing! Drive core breach sealed. Radiation dissipation in three days. Trying download attempt with Aurora Black Box. High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Mm. Nice! I'm the- are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days. Nice! Ten hours. Oh, three days, 10 hours. Okay, good enough for me. That means that this will soon be safe to traverse. And, I mean, it's already safe to traverse, but I also wanted to explore a little more. I may have already picked up the. I can actually probably check to see if I picked up the power doodaddy blueprint. I don't know. I've got the Cyclops hull. What the hell was that? Have I heard that before? I don't know if I heard that before. Alrighty then. That ain't good. Apparently. Okay, so I'll be right back once I finish scouring the rest of this place just in case there's anything that I missed, but this seems markedly different. Okay, never mind. I'm back to where I was, so BRB. Okay. Ah, shit! Ah, sugar tits. Sploosh. I, I, oh. I don't think I've explored this area. Oh, that sounds bad. Ooh, I like the rumbling. It makes me feel very unsafe. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Okay, this seems new. And the music has changed, which leads me to believe I'm either close to my imminent death or some amazing discovery, or neither, and I'm going to be very bored with what I find. Ho oh, ho, there's nothing here. Yes, exactly as I planned. BRB! Okay, so apparently now we're on our own in the blackness, so that's nice. What is that? Is there anything down here that I should know about? Probably not. But anyway. The other thing that I need to conquer in this area is uh, the trail of debris that extends back behind the ship. But as- oh no. Oh, 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 okay. I was about to say, ah, oh, crap. But the only bad thing about that is there's a big ass reaper standing right there ready to eat me. So the thing about that area is that there are tons, and I mean tons of supplies. There's supply boxes aplenty strewn across the seabed Morning, ready for the taking. So I need to find a way to get around the reaper and then see if I can get there. Where am- whoa, where am I? Where's- where's the goddamn air? Where's air? Air! Oh no! Air! 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 
Oh! Air! Where's the goddamn air? I, what? What? How did I get? Oh God! Please tell me that's water. Oh no! Oh no! What? How? How did this happen? Oh God! I see it! Ah! No! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! I made it! Holy crap! I didn't believe in myself for one goddamn second! I gave up already! I, I threw in the towel! I'm a quitter! I'm a loser, baby! But I survived! Okay, so I'm gonna get back to my Seamoth and then I'm gonna get back to the base because there apparently is a gun that I can craft. There's a gun of some sort. I don't know if it's a good gun. The propulsion cannon. Maybe with that I can shoot things at the Reaper and kill it, but I doubt it's even possible to kill the Reaper, but we shall see. It's always, I don't know why, I don't know how, and I don't know why, but always whenever I go to the Aurora, everything goes wrong and I nearly have a heart attack. Why can't I just have a nice normal trip to the Aurora, where things are fun and happy and filled with dreams? Hello, Sharky Poo. What are you gonna do, huh? You wanna mess with me? You doing backflips to impress me? I am not impressed. Welcome aboard, Captain. What? This? Um. <laughs> are you? You okay? You guys okay? You need some water? I mean, you you got plenty of water, but do you need some sanity? Okay. You have fun now. You you have fun. You have fun. Okay. Bonked my ship all over the place. And it's daytime. Back to base. Gotta get back to the base. Gotta drop it to base. But I can confidently say that I repaired the entire Aurora and everything is a okay now. Are you dead? Oh, you're not dead? Well, you're gonna be soon. Bonk! <laughs> Sorry, I'll leave you alone. With a few broken ribs and internal bleeding. That's just the kind of nice guy I am. I bet I can build this base up a bit more, but I'm not quite ready to go farming again because farming was a bit of a bitch. Well, not really. It was actually quite peaceful. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, baby. All right, so John Smith, you're going to be my medical man. You're going to cause all my med kits. Thank you for that. And maybe this power cell and these batteries and also this aluminum oxide and this mercury ore. I don't even know what the hell that do, but you're going to keep it and also land. Landmass? Whoa! Back up a second! Landmass? <gasps> oh. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Landmass! Everyone said that there was an island available here, and I just got a signal for a land mass. Which, I don't know if you guys know what that means, but to me, that means island. Oh, yes! <laughs> We are in a good spot here. Also, I notice you need to eat a variety of foods so that you don't just eat only of one because if you eat too many of one type of food, you will get sick. Plain as that. And I'm gonna put my last whole fish into my little aquarium. I killed and ate all its friends, but it gets to live with the memory of that betrayal with new friends that it cares nothing about. Okay. Be free! What if I just dropped a cooked- What if I just dropped the cooked fish in here with the rest of them? Oh, that'd be so sad. Oops, I ate it. Never mind, I ate it. And apparently I ate the raw one too. Well, shit! I didn't mean to do that! I meant to set him free! But I forgot to drop it, and instead I ate it. So, anyway, that's all the time that I got for this episode of Subnautica. In the next one, we are going to investigate where that land mass signal goes to, and maybe, just maybe, find us an island. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.